Hey everyone, how's it going? Ben here, and today we're going to be looking at how we can edit photos in Pixelmator. We're going to be going over things like how to change the color of an image, how to change a specific color in the image, as well as other things like changing the shadows, contrast, highlights, and more. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the main tools that we're going to be using for this video are the sponge tool, the dodge tool, and the burn tool, as well as the effects browser off to the right hand side here. Now to get started, we're going to start off with the sponge tool. Now once you have the sponge tool selected, we can move up here to our brush panel and we can select which brush size we'd like to use. I personally like using a large soft brush size. Now if it's soft, it's going to blend in with the image much more, so you want to select something that's sort of blurred on the edges out here. Now once we select a soft brush, we can change our mode. We can either saturate our image, which is going to add more color, or we can desaturate our image, which is going to take away color. We can also change how much we want to adjust this by changing the strength just by moving the slider back and forth here. So we are just going to bring our cursor down here and we're just going to try dragging over these mountaintops right over here. Now once we finish dragging around, we'll notice that it has added a bit of saturation to our image. We can notice the big change if we hit Command Z. As we can see, it looks much more desaturated now. Now moving on to the dodge tool, we can use this to change the highlights, midtones, and shadows. Now for example, if I select shadows, we can drag this below where we see the shadows near the water. And as you can see, it's just removing the shadows. Now if we want to add these shadows back, we're just going to select the burn tool and this is going to add the shadows rather than remove them. So we're just going to bring our cursor down once again, click and drag on the screen. And as you notice, we have those shadows once again back on the water. Now moving away from the tools, we have our effects browser, which is loaded with 152 different filters. Now we're going to go to the color adjustment section and we'll notice that there are plenty of effects to choose from. We have an auto enhance, a brightness, levels, and much more. We're going to go down here to colorize. Now we can select these and just drag them right onto our image in order to add the effect. We are then going to be brought up with a panel. Now this colorize one is going to allow us to change the color or overall tone of our image. Now we can just drag our slider around and uh, we can also edit with our saturation levels as well as lightness. Once we are done we can just select OK and it will apply this change to our image. Now one that you're probably going to use a lot is color balance. Now with color balance we'll allow to add slight tints to our images such as increasing the blues up or maybe adding a bit of pink to our image. We can really use these sliders in order to get the proper tone that we'd like for our image. So as you can see, once I finish adding that color balance, if I select Command Z, we'll notice that there's a big color change in the image and we can really modify the tone and how we'd like it. Now the final effect we're going to be looking at is replace color. Now, this is a really cool feature if we want to replace a specific color in an image. Now, to do this, we want to select color, and we are then going to pinpoint which color in the image we want to change. Now, this doesn't work great with landscape images. It's more better with just simple images, maybe like a bike if you want to change the color on a bike. But we're going to try it with landscape. So I'm going to select this blue ocean here. And then once we've selected our color, we can drag these sliders around and we'll notice that it will change that specific color to another color of our choice. We can also drag around the saturation of this as well as the lightness. Well guys, that wraps up my tutorial. I hope you guys learned something new. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys all in my next video.